Today I'm going to show you the most requested video, <laughs> our budget binder. I used to have a video on this, but I noticed that a lot of my like address and personal information was shown, even though I thought I blocked it well enough. You guys in your eagle eye spotted it. So this that's been taken down for quite a while now, and it was sad because so many people asked, where'd the video go? So here is a new one for you. Not much has really changed. A uh, few sheets have changed, though. That's about it. My system is still the same. Um, so this is just, I don't know, two inch, one and a half inch binder that I got at Walmart years ago um, that I store everything in. I decided I wanted a place where everything could go so I could pick it up, move it to anywhere in the home and do our budget. So let me show you. Okay, when you open it up, it says mail. These are the bills that are ready to go out. Uh, these are all the bills for July that need to get paid. And so the, they're already have, these are the bills that I just haven't set up automatic payment or can't or I don't know. So these bills are ready to hit the mail. Um, I have this really neat little bag here. Um, you can get these at the dollar store. They're used for like pencil bags, crayons, whatever for school. But what I have in here is my checkbooks and these little sticker, round sticker things for my papers. So when they rip in the binder, I can put them on. Um, but I have a pen in here. So everything I need to do, bills, pen, checks, they're all here. This section here is where all the bills come to. So when the bills come from the mailbox to my counter, <laughs> sorting through, I bring them over here to this section. I stick them in here. So that way all the bills have a spot. They all have a home. No more losing bills. I was so tired of that game. And ever since I've created this binder with this pocket, it has been the biggest lifesaver. So all bills come here. And this section is all my address labels and stamps. So here's my stamps here are okay I can't flip over so you to see but I have and they're so pretty I have all different holiday every holiday every season address labels and I didn't pay for any of these you guys guys these are gonna last me years and years they're all from my car or my insurance company they send me one every season I've never had to buy any they're fantastic so here's address labels and stamps go here and then you turn, and I created this um, just in Word. It's a checkbook recorder sheet. So uh, this is check number, the date, the transaction, the deposit, the debit. Did it clear? I put a check mark in the balance. So this is where I balance our checkbook. And I have lots of sheets of, um, of that, <laughs> but I'm not going to show you. So this is the blank one. This is how I keep track of everything and the main well account there is another account that I do similar but I'm doing a separate video on that for you so this is everything uh, I keep track of um, okay and this section and you know I haven't even made labels yet for them because I already know I flipped to them I already know this by heart um, so and this section this um, printout I got from Bowl Full of Lemons. Um, this is a monthly due date schedule. She has it by the day um, of the month. And you put which bill is due, the amount, and you can check it if it went through your bank. It's great. I loved it. But I, I've done it for my own. And this is what I've done. I took the first seven things that are due the beginning of the month and these this is what's usually taken out of our for our last paycheck of the month so I put it here with the day that it's due around when it's due, uh, things like that and then the rest is from the first paycheck of the month that gets paid for everything toward the end of the month so I you know I tried to think of the exact day you know I try to track things that way um, and it continues over to the right side as well. And then down here I have a rollover or things that could get moved to our budget. Um, if we have extra money, there's some months everything gets used. Sometimes we can stay under and it gets rolled over to somewhere. And 
this is how I keep track of it all. And then this sheet here I created, um, I wanted to track our spending. I really, really wanted to see, you know, and there's so many different computer programs you can use, but I don't know, this just works for my brain. So mostly for food and household, where, where most of our money's going. So food and household means like, obviously food, but also like anything that's non-food um, that I could track somewhat, like movies and I don't know, things like that. So I just keep a tally here in the amount in the balance because I put so much towards food and household every month. So this will just let me know, oh, I'm almost done this paycheck. I can't be going to Costco again because, you know, we're running low. And then on this side, I have gas. I keep track of our gas. Um, so that way I could be like, you know what, we're budgeting a little too high for gas. We don't need that much gas money. So I can move either the gas money over to food and household or move it somewhere into our budget like Christmas, things like that. So, and it's going really well. I could see how much we're spending. This peak section here is for our monthly budget and I'm going to be doing a separate video on it. This here is where the money that we pull out from a paycheck that goes to our budget, it gets separated into different categories and how I keep track of that. And I'm going to be doing a separate video on that, so look for it soon. And then this green section here is for any of our tax information that starts coming in through the year. So we could do our tax returns automatically, comes in here. I don't need to, you know, I won't lose any of that. It all comes here and I can keep track of that. This is just a fast look at our budget binder, guys. It's nothing fancy, but it helps us. It helps with our, my brain, basically. But this is what I do. This is what helps me. And ever since I created this a couple of years ago, it's been a huge saver for us. So do whatever works, what you think you're going to use. And yeah, so I will do another video for you on how we budget yearly and what we budget for. And so look for that soon. But here is our budget binder, you guys. And it's the best thing I've done for us. In this sense, I've made this. We've been on more track um, with things. And it's been wonderful. So, well, I hope you like this video. If you have any tips for me, leave them below. I'd love to hear it. And I'd love to hear what you do. Okay, guys, have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye.